Hey everyone, this is my first live um, without my partner in crime, Amber. So hopefully I'm going to do this right. Um, so thanks for joining live or on the replay. Um, if you've been following Elevage, you know that we've been doing some Motivation Monday things and they seem to get good um, engagement. And our goal with those is to just kind of make you guys feel like you're not alone in this and um, give you some encouragement. Um, we've been there. We are there right now. So um, so for this Motivation Monday, um, we thought maybe we'd get a little bit more personal. And um, as some of you know, I am a brand new uh, MW student. And so I kind of wanted to share my experience with that so far, maybe do this once a month and sh be honest and share my struggles because I do suspect that there is um, a misconception maybe that, uh, that Amber and I have our shit all together. And let me tell you, we don't, well, at least I don't, <laughs> um, but we struggle just like everyone else does. And I think the more experience you have, maybe you feel a little bit more confident, but uh, it's definitely still tough. And um, so I'm just, you know, dipping my toe in the MW water and I have my seminar next week uh, for a week. So that's my first official foray into the program. Um, but I'm, I'm nervous. I looked at the schedule Hey ladies. Um, and it's daunting. It's, you've got a 12 wine practice mock exam every day. And I just did my first one yesterday for practice with my OC tasting group and I was pooped. I was exhausted afterwards. So I am going to have to really work on my stamina here for the program. Um, it's, it's going to be a hell of a like feet to the fire. And my, um, my mentor, had given me a heads up about this, that the stage one seminar is is intense. So thank you, Claire. Um, it didn't really hit me until I saw the actual schedule in print. So now I am fully aware of it. My goal with the seminar is just to be a sponge and kind of soak everything up that I can. Um, and I will, I will reflect on it back maybe next month in another one of these sessions and let you know how it went. But I know there's a lot of, um, focus on, on nailing the wine in these blind exams. And obviously that feels awesome when you do that. But my understanding of the MW program is it's a lot more about your arguments and crafting them correctly. So I am going to focus on that as well, because I believe that's about half the battle is learning how to write your answers, how they want you to write them. Um, but on a great note, my seminar is in my beloved Washington state. So I get to go back up to my stomping grounds and see some familiar faces and meet some new ones because there's been some um, other stage one students that I've talked to on social media and maybe you're here right now. Um, I just can't wait to meet everybody um, because it's we're all in the same boat. Um, it, maybe it's leaking, but <laughs> no, we're all, in the, we're all in the same boat. So it'll be nice to, um, to meet these people in person. Um, so let's see, the exam itself has been postponed because of COVID. So if you've been taking any wine exams, any WSET exams over the past two years, you know the pain of having things um, postponed indefinitely. So my exam's at the end of July. Um, I know some other students around the world have had seminars postponed. So we're all still going through this, um, with the postponing and uncertainty. Um, so I post, uh, on my account on outwines. So by the way, I am writing a blog on the outwines, um, account detailing my MW process and, um, it's pretty personal. So, you know, I throw in some colorful language and, um, some, some personal stuff. So if you are interested in reading more about what the application process entails and what, you know, how it is going for me in my experience, please follow, um, outwines.blog. I'm writing it there. Um, I just thought this would be a little bit more interactive. If you have any questions, please chime in, um, or just send me a DM. I'm happy to answer anything. Obviously I am a newbie. 
Um, I'm not, I only know what has worked for me and maybe what hasn't worked for me. So um, happy to, to let you know on all that. So one of the questions that came in was what is the worst or most frustrating thing about the program so far? So um, to be honest, I think for me, what has been the most frustrating personally is that I don't know if I'm studying right. Oh, thank you. Um, and coming to the realization that there is no right way. There is no right way. Um, if you are a diploma student or WSET student, you know the frustration of not um, being able to know what they're gonna ask. So you're pouring over your, your D2 text or your D5 text, and you're just like, I don't think they could ask me anything in this textbook. And that is super stressful. Um, my understanding of the MW program is it's pretty much like they can ask you anything from D1 to D6. And that's obviously super stressful. And I don't know how to study for that yet, yet. Um, because I pride myself, that's one of my strengths is, is knowing how to study. I've done it through law school, through all of my wine studies. I feel like I'm a damn good studier. So this has been very frustrating for me, um, not knowing how to study correctly. And again, there is no one right answer. So I'm hoping at the seminar, I'm going to get lots of input as to possibilities. Here's what worked for somebody. Here's what worked for somebody else. And then I can take a little bit of everyone and make a nice little blend, a nice little Noel blend that will work for me, but may not work for somebody else. But that's what's been, I guess, frustrating about the program so far is the lack of um, the uncertainty, just not knowing, am I doing this right? Um, but you know, I probably never will, which sucks. Um, so another question was, um, what's the best thing about the program so far? So to end on a happy note, um, I will say that I am pleasantly surprised so far that it seems very collaborative with students. Um, I am so fortunate to have their two other stage one students like within driving distance to me. So we are getting together and doing some tastings. Um, and then I'm a member of a WhatsApp group for um, stage one students around the world. And it seems really collaborative. People are sharing information. If they hear a podcast, that is great. If they read an article or see something posted on the website, um, they, they make it known to everybody. There's not this information hoarding, which is wonderful. So it, it definitely, I am really optimistic that this is going to be, for the most part, you know, there's always a couple of rotten eggs, um, but for the most part, it's gonna be a good group of, of students who collaborate and share information. And just because I succeed doesn't mean somebody else will not succeed. So this is not a competition. And I think that that um, is prevalent maybe in some other wine certifications is kind of this competitive nature. And I compete with myself. I really hate competing with other people. I, I feel like I'm too old for that shit. So, um, yeah, so I, that's been the best thing about the program so far is just this collaborative nature of students. And I really hope to see more of that, um, at the stage one seminar. So fingers crossed on that. Um, so that's kind of up to date of like where I'm at just, <laughs> um, but wanted to tell you all, so applications will open um, for anyone who's interested in May. And there's kind of a two, I'll go into this in more detail in another, or you can read my blog about it. Um, there's kind of a two section process. You apply and you put your personal statement and your work background and you have um, an MW or a senior member of the trade write you a reference. Um, and that's your application. And you have about a month to do that. And then the second part is the entrance exam. And that sounds scary, I know, but um, I did it and it was, it was okay. Um, and I know that some of you, uh, one in particular, uh, thinks that they don't have enough time to prepare for uh, 
the entrance exam. And I know what you are capable of, and I know that you have time. If you want to pursue MW, you've got this. You know who I'm talking to. Um, but the exam is a past MW question. So you will, you will take your exam. You will only have your computer. You won't have any books or anything or able to Google. Um, and you answer a past MW question as best you can. But you know it's a past MW question and they're all posted online. So you can go back and kind of familiarize yourself with those. So I'll go into more next time, kind of what I did for that. Um, and then there's also a tasting component and you know what the wines are ahead of time. Um, mine were two styles of sherry and two Rieslings. And you write some answers to questions. You don't write a tasting note because that's not what the MW wants. Um, they want you to explain why this is Riesling. Why is it not Chenin Blanc? Um, they want you to explain where is the sherry going to get sold and why? Who's going to drink this? I think I had a pale cream sherry on mine. So, um, obviously the, you know, the UK, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm happy to go into more detail about the, the entrance exam that's coming up that, that opens up in, in early May for anybody who is interested or thinking about joining the program. Um, I found their website really helpful. Uh, Richard Hemming does a couple of videos on the entrance exam, kind of walking you through that, uh, what you should think about while you're writing your essay and, and doing your tasting notes. And they're not expecting you to do it perfectly. You're just applying. So don't, don't put so much pressure on yourself. And I'm going to take my own advice and not put so much pressure on myself. Um, so if you would keep your fingers crossed for me next week, um, at the seminar and I will fill you all in on how that goes. And I have heard from a number of, of MWs that this is a really tough week that you have a lot of doubt. Um, you think, what the, am I doing here? Like, how did I get in? So you know, I'm, I'm fully expecting to have those, um, imposter syndrome thoughts, but you know, I think anybody who was accepted deserves to be there. They saw something in everybody that applied and was accepted. And so, you know, I, I deserve to be there and I'm just going to keep reminding myself of that. Um, anyways, thanks for joining on the first motivation Monday. I hope that this motivated you <laughs> and didn't freak you out, but I just want to show I'm freaking nervous too. Like this is new for me. Um, I am advising a lot of you on diploma and wine scholar guild stuff. I already did that. So I I'm confident in that, but now I'm starting something new and I'm at the bottom of the ladder looking up. I'm not confident about climbing this. So, you know, I need to tell myself, I've got this because you've got this. So I need to take my own advice. Um, anyways, thanks for joining. And um, as always, if you have any questions about the program or anything wine related, let Amber or I know, and we're happy to answer as best we can. So have a good week, guys. Take care. <laughs>